There we go. Let's try this. Welcome back. What we're doing. Oh, there goes one of the little ones right there. She's running. She's running. That's Elena. All right. So what we're doing here is we are getting ready to do a crock pot pork roast. Inside, I cut up some onions, some little green onions, got some mushrooms in there, got some garlic out here, got some salt, garlic, pepper on there. Here in a second, we're going to show you exactly what's going on, but I've got some uh, coals I went ahead and started in the process, and then, oh, I haven't filmed anything yet, so here we go. We're going to pick it up and go from there. There's our coals. There's our Dutch oven. We're going to put some garlic in there, my glass of water, my headset, in case anybody calls interrupting the video. Here's our pork with salt, garlic, and pepper on it. So how we're going to start this is we're going to come over here with these hot coals. We're going to spread them around right here. Got some for the top. Oh, well, we'll just spread those around right there because we need it more on the bottom than we do the top right now. Spread that around and I'm sure y'all just heard the motorcycle go rolling by. Ouch, that is a little warm. We're going to grab this, set that on there, and get it to heating up. Now, inside here, for all you fun-loving kids, I got some bacon fat we saved up in there, and I'm going to saute some garlic in it. We're going to sear the meat on that. So when this gets heated up here in a little bit, we'll be back. Yep, here we're back. We're going to check this. Feels a little, little warm. By the way, I've got this little stand right here that we're going to move a little bit closer, put the lid on. There's that. Oh, yeah. We got a good smoky, smoky deal. So let me grab some garlic real quick. Here's the garlic. It's a little rough to do this, by the way, when you're doing it by your hand, by yourself. But it'll be all right. There we go, a little bit of garlic. All right, well, we're getting ready to sear the pork out. I'm going to spread some of these out because the pot's a little hot here. All part of Dutch oven cooking, figuring out good temperatures, bad temperatures. It's more of a playing with it than anything. So we're going to set that back on the fire. We're going to grab a big old pork butt here. And we are going to put it in the fire to sear it. That sucker is a little high, but it'll be high. It'll be high. Before I do that, we're going to go ahead and flip it over. Grab that. Set that right on top there and let that go for a couple minutes. Alright, we're going to check it here real quick. Looks like it's searing up fairly decent there. Oh, broke my spoon. Let's go to drastic measures. Oh yeah, good brown sear on the bottom there. Yeah, set that there. I'll put the lid back on it. While that side sears, I'm going to go in and grab the onions and the mushrooms so we can dump inside there. Yeah. All righty. Here's our green, pepper, green, green onions, red onions, mushrooms we're going to add to that. We might have to add them a little bit at a time as they cook down. We're going to turn this back over because I'm sure it's all ready to go. Um, one thing that you don't see out here quite yet is the chicken stock that I'm going to add to this. That will definitely help it. But you can definitely see where it's seared on that side. I'm going to push that back down in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with this one right here. Spread that around the bottom and the sides. It may all fit. I don't know. Maybe. Have to add some as we go too. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to add some as we go. That's all right. Grab that. <coughs> back 
back on top just like that. I'm gonna let that sweat a minute and cook those down. While those cook down, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna get my chicken broth ready. We'll be back in a minute. Now. All right, we're back. We're getting ready to open the top. I've got my chicken broth here. It's actually bouillon cubes of water works the same way. Put some liquid in there since it's pork. If it was uh, deer or red meat, we'd use a beef broth, but we're gonna go with it. We're getting ready to pull our lid off here and see how everything's going. Yes, I had to put some foil on there because it wasn't quite covering everything. So, that's okay. That's why we say we learn as we go. We're gonna take this, two cups, maybe it's enough. I might have to go make some more. Ah, it does put it in there about halfway. That's enough for now. We're gonna stir it up here a little bit. Get everything going. Bring it in here a little closer there, sister. We're gonna show them it. We got water up in here. See, you can see it there. You can see the starting to cook. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some coals out of this and we're gonna put on top of it. And this foil will help trap in most of the heat and hopefully seal up some of that to prevent it from, as they say, wow, jout out hot. Get some heat on top, start cooking it that way, and that's how it works as the oven part of it, hence Dutch oven. It's the way our ancestors used to do this back in the back in the day. We're gonna dump that out right there. That way I've got access to the rest of the coals without frying my hand. And go right there. We'll scoot those back underneath there. Put that one there. Alright, we're gonna let that go for probably an hour. We're gonna come back and check on it. I am going to mix up two more cups of the, the bouillon cubes, that way we keep moisture in there and we're just going to let it cook. Alright, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Alright, there we are, we're back, you're going to see some noise, there's some chickens behind us, I got a little one over there raking up some leaves, she's getting ready to do some mowing for me. Got the one out by the fence, she's doing the front yard so we can get it mowed. It's finally drying out, spent all day, well a couple hours yesterday working on the, the Ford, I mean the mower. Um, crank handle spring up, on come unwound. Another cable broke to keep the safety on. Uh, honeybee broke the uh, uh, mulch hatch door, so I had to order one of those. So by the time it was all said and done, it took a couple hours to get it up and running. It's not perfect, but it, it, it's working. But to give you an example of why we're sitting there doing special things today, like cooking, because I get excited. I like to post. I, I want to post some videos, but I can't post everything that's that's gone on because then people get mad. But it rained, and as I spin around here, water, more water. Let's see how we go here. Oh, it's kind of dried out there, but you can see our flood zone right here, and that's when this pile of dirt that's right behind me, uh, right there, is going to come in handy. And there's my yucky pile of wood that I need to need to split but I've been lazy and ain't got to that but that's where it goes and you see the chickens over there so since it's too wet to work in the garden uh, the dirt's too heavy for the trailer because it rained and the chickens are doing all right Chewy's being a little nosy which is our family dog which you'll get an exciting deal about her and an electric fence it was a pure accident but she kind of steers clear from it now so give you a little idea of why we're throwing an extra video in this week letting it cook and showing you how we cook in dutch oven and i'm sure a bunch of you'd be like oh this looks good and some of you's gonna be like oh look it's next to the dirt that's why our ancestors did it 200 years ago 100 years ago if you're out in the woods this is the way you're gonna do it this is the way a bunch of campers do it so if you can learn something why not go for it see you in a little bit check on this has been going about an hour and a half um why don't you come and get a real good look at it there, sister? You can sit there and see it's really starting to come apart. I'm not pushing that hard on it. That is a bone on there. The broth is sitting there cooked down. I just keep kind of dragging it up like so. 
Oop, there's a big chunk of fat off of it, so you know it's it's melting down. But I did make two more cups of the, the chicken broth, so we're going to go ahead and add it in there. And that's kind of what it looks like at the moment. Slowly cooking away. I'll put the lid back on it. Goes like that. And then I'm going to start up some more coals because as those burn down, we got to replace them to keep the heat going on. So we'll get back with you in a couple more hours and show you another picture. Stay tuned. Okay, go ahead and tell you what's going on with the mower. Is the spring just kept snapping, snapping, snapping. So we're going to have to wait for the parts to come in. Guy told me that's going to be a minimum of 30 days. So unfortunately, even though I really don't want to, it looks like they're going to get to tag team the yard from here on out because I do know where a mower's at that I can go get fairly decently priced. So may not be as fancy, but it'll work. Part of the pork roast out there in the Dutch oven, we're doing some fried cabbage. Just sliced it up, get some bacon fat in there. We got salt, pepper, smoked paprika. I'm going to take two sticks of real butter, not margarine, real butter because we pay attention to what we eat a little bit around here and I'd rather have fewer the ingredients the better and this has sweet cream and salt in it and when you eat that way you have to actually kind of increase your salt intake a little bit because you're not getting all the salt from all the canned foods or the processed foods um, no my blood pressure has actually come down since the beginning of the year because we been watching our our processed foods is what we've been watching we'll throw that on there but we'll cover it up let it sweat and that should finish cooking by the time the pork is done and we're getting ready to go out there and check out here in a second anyway so we'll be back with you in a minute all right well we're out here we're going to check our pot roast and uh i do have a brain fart once in a while it's okay between six girls and animals and trying to do stuff, I'm allowed to do that. In the heat underneath it, not really hot there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these coals and dump them right on top there. We're gonna take that, kick that one back over. Yeah. Right on top there, work it down in there. Oh, there we go. Nice and hot. See? That's peeling off there. It is done. Yeah, it's not quite done. Maybe almost done. We're going to turn it one more time. I'm going to say now, if I could reach in there and pluck that bone out right there, it'd probably be done. But It's peeling off, so we're gonna snag a little bit here. I'm gonna set that in my cup where my broth was at. Lid back on there and let it go. So, Miss Guinea Pig holding the camera. Hot, 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 hot. Come here, Elena. Just come here. Why me? Why me? A little piece of trap. Does it taste like tree? No. Uh -uh. We'll get into that conversation. It tastes later. like coal. Tastes like coal. Yeah. <laughs> but alright, there we go. Whenever we get ready to plate it up, we'll break it back out on the video and show y'all what it looks like. Okay, well, we're back in the kitchen here. I promised you I'd show you what this looked like as I plated it up. Because there's the cabbage. There's the pork butt after it's cooked uh, five hours in the, the Dutch oven out there in the coals. So, here we go. We'll take some of that and hit that over there like so. And we'll grab this plate. We'll run it over here. Yeah, a little brownie the girls made the other day. We'll take this and we will put it right on top of there like so.
grab that. This one I haven't grabbed before. Uh oh. I don't know what you want to bite. Well, my thing's starting in like two minutes. No, okay, we'll go do your thing. It looks weird. Alrighty. Well, thanks for paying. Say thanks for bearing with me with all the. Uh, I'll be back. See you in a little bit. My daughter told me it was just way too much, but I'm gonna sit down and enjoy a plate of this. Honey Bear's gonna go take care of something she's got to take care of. Uh, please like, subscribe, pay attention. We're gonna be putting more content out with a whole bunch of different stuff. Thank you much.